Hello everybody, this is Teresa from Tadazzle Plans. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the new student, uh, what was it, student habit edition. Um, so this came out in the um, back to school line and somebody reviewed it, um, creating chaos, all right, yeah, creating, creating chaos, reviewed it. And I'm like, I love that setup. But, and so when I originally bought it, I bought it to be my work planner. And then I decided, sorry, I got, they're still sticky on it. <laughs> I need to get that off. Um, I decided that it is going to make the perfect household planner. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. So I'm gonna show you guys, first I'm gonna show you the layout. Um, so it starts with this a regular monthly and then it goes into um, some goals and the first one is plan list which projects take priority this month so um, I mean it could be literally anything you could use this for literally anything um, but like I said I'm gonna use it for households so say um, um, I want to declutter my kitchen cupboards, um, and downsize all on things needed. So however I wanted to write that out, I could write that out there, or I could do it in a couple different goals. I want to empty all the cupboards and throw away what I don't need or donate or sell what I don't need. And then I want to organize and then I want to, you know, you can break it down however you want. And then the next one is organize, and it says to maxim, maximize, sorry, I can't talk today, your efficiency, prioritize, and schedule your time. I'm not sure that I'm going to use that for this layout because I'm going to schedule my time in, on another page. Um, and then this is initiate, write down ways that can help you start strong. You know, and I could say um, one cupboard at a time or one section of my kitchen at a time. Um, you know, top right cupboards or, you know, whatever. And then notes to self. And this is just a check-in to see how I'm doing, what's working, what's not working, what I want to tweak, those kinds of things. And then this is to track and evaluate so I could track that I finished my project by the end of July. Um, and everything is organized. I've downsized all I can or whatever. Um, and then what needs improved on for next month. So let's say that I really struggled. Like I did it all in one day and then I was exhausted and I missed a soccer game and whatever. Um, you know, I could write that down. And then so next month, if I wanted to declutter another room, I would know to do it a little bit different. So I thought that was great. And then here's just a running to-do list. Um, and I figure with this, you could just, you know, constantly write down things, mark them off as they're done. But at the end of the month, if I still have, you know, a half a sheet of stuff not done, instead of rewriting them, I would just pop this out and move it to the next month. Um, and then there's another one for the next month. So if I finish the top one, I could move on. So at the end of the year, I might have one or two or three left over of this sheet, which I love this sheet. Okay, so then the next page is your weekly layout. So this one starts on July 3rd. Move it over. So then you have, so you have the whole month like that, timed. And then it doesn't have a regular currently page. It just has some notes and plans. So if you wanted to do a currently page on there, you sure could, um, but you definitely don't have to. So then what I'm adding to this um, layout is some things that I already made. And one of them was a chore list. And I wrote down, um, here I wrote down what day of the week I wanted to do certain chores on. You know, a couple of them, like the dishes is every day and make my bed every day. But, um, and garbage day is always on Tuesdays, those kinds of things. And then I also color coded it. Now, I was going to laminate this so I could 
just reuse it over and over, but I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then when I fill out the, um, the weekly spread, I'll look back and I'll say, okay, on Mondays we do this, on Tuesdays we do this, and then add the next um, steps for my big goals. So I hope that makes sense. And then I also added <clears throat> um, sorry. So it also has a perpetual calendar, which I don't at this point, I don't think that I'll use it. If I do, I don't know what I'll use it for. And then I added this. This is from the um, household um, extension pack. And so is this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this one says chores. And it's got two pages of chores. Daily chores, weekly chores, and monthly chores. That you can choose from or you can use their list or whatever you want to do. So I just threw that in there, and there's several pages of it. Um, and that'll help me make sure that I don't miss anything. And yeah, so that's how I'm gonna be using this planner. Again, this is called the Student Habits Edition of the Happy Planner. Um, came out in the back to school line. Um, so this is new this year, and I think it's going to be perfect for household. I think it would also be perfect for a catch-all, which I actually had thought about as well, um, and then decided against it because of the time. Um, and I just didn't, I don't want that for a catch-all. That's more of a daily thing for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what else could you use this for? I mean... You could use this for a budget. You could use it for social media, definitely. You could, I mean, the possibilities are limitless because the layout is great. I mean, you could use it for fitness if you wanted to. If you have that goal setting area, which I find fascinating that they would put that in there. Um, I don't know that I ever would have used this kind of a layout in school, but maybe college. Um, but I mean, you can just, your imagination's the only thing that's going to hold you back on this planner. So anyway, I just wanted to show you all this planner and how I'm going to use it. I would really, really love to hear how you might use it, or if you're going to use it and you're, maybe you're not a teacher, like I'm not a teacher, um, or a student. So I would love to know how you guys are using it. So please feel free to leave some comments on how you would use it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you also share this with your friends. All right, have a great day. Bye.